All right, let's get more on this. Pavel Falgenauer is a military and defense analyst, and he joins us now from Moscow. Pavel, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you for being with us. With us. Now, uh, the U.S., U.K., and France have rejected uh, the Russian draft uh, resolution. Uh, what does this mean for Syria for now, especially uh, for the situation in the country's north? Uh, well, the lines of battle in the north have been more or less set. Uh, right now, we're kind of in the period of blame shifting. They, uh, all sides, I mean, Turkey and Russia believe uh, that there is a possibility of further escalation, and it's very important for both Russia and, of course, the Assad regime and uh, uh, Turkey and all parties to shift the blame uh, for the international community to believe it's the other side uh, that uh, really is uh, to blame for any kind of possible escalation. So uh, Russia would want to have a, a resolution it could use against Turkey if there's something goes there really wrong, and there are more clashes, or uh, a resolution that could maybe deter Turkey from any kind of action. Uh, talking That's about... Why I stopped. I mean, talking about further escalation, you wrote in your analysis that Russia has begun the deployment of forces and resources for uh, a major war, uh, and, and you mentioned Turkey uh, as being one of these countries. Uh, yes, of course, that's a possibility. And any military commander, uh, should, if he sees a real possibility, should make preparations. Yes, Russian forces were, uh, has, have an, are right now in re risen alert, they have been moved. There's a concentration of uh, troops and resources in Crimea, especially the fleet, the Black Sea Fleet, the Air Force has been uh, mobilized. They even had an exercise to build a, a, a pontoon bridge over the Straits of Kerch to reinforce Crimea. And Crimea is, of course, primarily a uh, 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 bridgehead to for the uh, Turkey against, it's against the Istanbul region mostly, but of course also Ankara can also be taken on. There has also been a mobilization of the uh, Caspian flotilla. So yes, uh, because there could be also action in the Caspian if there's a flare up between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So yes, Russian forces are more or less ready. They have just been also a reinforcement of Russian uh, troops and, and, and capabilities in Syria itself. I also want to get your, your take on this. Uh, what do you think the chances are for talks on an agreement on a, 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 for a ceasefire now? Well, I didn't believe that the ceasefire was a serious proposition. Uh, it was more of a kind of a smokescreen. Uh, the Russian objective in Syria, as of course Iran's and the Assad, a regime is clear, it's full military victory. So military victory comes first, uh, ceasefire maybe afterwards, but uh, clearly not right now. The Russians said they'll continue to bomb the terrorists and uh, in Moscow they believe that anyone who opposes uh, Assad with arms is a terrorist. The Assad regime said that they want to retake the entirety of Syria. Uh, there was, so there was no real uh, ceasefire coming up I mean, any kind of serious ceasefire. All right, Pavel Falgenauer joining us live from Moscow. We thank you for that analysis.